I should have really made my bed. I'm kind of regretting this. Um. Um. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just want to point out that that there in the corner is a bralette. It's not underwear. Just thought I'd point that out. I really should have made my bed. I'm so sorry. So for today's video, as you can see, it's just very chilled. Ignore the dogs and the cats. <laughs> you know they're just there um but today i'm just going to be doing a really chilled q and a i asked for, for some questions on instagram you guys have sent some in and i'm going to try and answer some of them um i just want to say before we get into the video i have a new twitter because i got locked out so it's down below also i'm selling stuff on my depop also down below so just just remember to check out the links in the description anyway let's go on with the video so the first question is what is your favorite the vampire diaries character and why Okay, so there's probably a few because I love so many characters and like throughout. So like at the start, I really hated Caroline, but like right at the, like those last few series, I just came to love her. She was so funny and I feel like she was just such a great character. Um, who else? Who else did I love? And I mean, everyone loves Damon. You've got to love Damon. It's either Damon or Stefan, but for me, it's Damon. He is hilarious. I actually love him. Who else? And then Rick. <laughs> Rick, I also love. Bon Bon, do you want to come here? I also love Rick. I think Rick and Damon's little friendship is actually just so cute. Probably those three. And then I love Enzo when he, like, comes into it. I just, I just love them. They're probably my favourite characters. The next question is, what's your favourite TV shows or movies? So I have a few TV shows that I love. Um, the Vampire Diaries and the originals, love them. Pretty Little Liars will always have a place in my heart, even though I hated the ending. Sorry, get very triggered about that. Jane the Virgin, Once Upon a Time. Um, there are, honestly, there are so many that I love and just for different reasons. And I go back to watching, like I rewatch a lot of shows because I love them. So I probably couldn't pick favourites, but there are some that come to me out off the top of my head. Movies, I love Love Rosie. Like, I just love it. Greatest Showman. High School Musical. High School Musical 3, mainly. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, my movie taste is so bad. I don't know, I just kind of, I just love classic, like, musical movies. I need to take my shoes off, they're really uncomfortable. The one thing I don't like about filming my vlog camera is it makes my eyes, like, black, whereas my eyes are actually blue. Okay, the next question is, do you have a part-time job, and if yes, what is it? No, I don't have a part-time job. I have been looking, I've applied to lots of places. Um, I just, I really, really need money, like, so badly. Um, I'm trying to, I'm 17 this year if you didn't know, so I need to save for a car, car insurance, driving lessons, petrol, like there's so much I have to save for as well as just general day to day stuff. So I don't have a part time job but I am looking for one. I'm not looking at like waitressing that kind of thing because I'm so clumsy. I will burn people. I burnt my foot with roast beef fat so I'm going to burn people with tea because I drop my tea all the time. The next question is kind of... I'm not going to answer that. Well, the next question is, do you have a secret boyfriend? And um, a couple months ago, I said on my channel that I have a boyfriend, and I did. Um, but we are no longer together. I'm not going to go into it. I just... Yeah, I don't want to go into it, but we aren't together anymore. There's no hard feelings, at least not from my part. Um, so I just thought I would put that out there so you know and so I don't get asked about it again. If you could go on a date with three celebrities, who would they be and why? God, I'm going so quick through this. Zac Efron. Zac Efron would be at the top of my list because I've just loved him since I was like seven. Even though he's 30, the age gap is okay. It's all right. Shawn Mendes because he's close in age so, you know, things could work out between us. And who else? But thing is though, my usual type is like, probably like blonde, and none of them are blonde. <laughs> Maybe I don't have a type, but like usually I'm first attracted to like someone who's blonde. So I just don't know why I would say Shawn Mendes and stuff, but they are just really attractive, aren't they? If I, if I was with someone who could sing, I would just, oh, I'd love that because I love to sing. I can't sing, but I like to sing. Mm. I don't know who a third one would be. I'm trying to think of like blonde celebrity. Do you know what? There aren't a lot of blonde celebrities. Oh, do you know how we'd go on a date with young Leonardo DiCaprio? If we could just age him down, bring like go back in time, he would be a bit of me. So 
I would say him. Um, the next question, thing, first period story. I feel like I have said this in a video before. It's not very interesting. I have some awkward period stories, but my mate, like, original... I got my period. Isn't that interesting? I was 12. It was in April, if, that, if you'd like to know. And I was in a science lesson. And I was sitting, I was sitting down, and then all of a sudden I, I like, felt really weird. Hmm, that's odd. I feel like I've just peed myself. So I asked to go to the toilet, and, um, and I looked down and I was like, oh, I started my period, I think. I wasn't sure because, let me tell you this, guys, if you didn't know, period blood can kind of be brown. Um, that's really disgusting, but it's a normal thing, so it's fine. And I was like, what is this? Have I pooed myself? Obviously I hadn't so I just like I didn't have anything on me because you know first period I wasn't prepared I had stuff at home, but not with me So I just like put a bit of tissue in my pants and then I got back for the rest of the day and went home And then I was really scared. I was so scared to tell my mum I was one of those people who'd wanted my period for ages and because I was like quite small I was like underdeveloped compared to other people let's say I was so excited to get my period I was like I am a woman um, so I was really excited to get it, but I was so scared to tell my mum. And so I walked the dogs, I never walked the dogs by myself, and I offered to walk the dogs by myself, so I could think through what I was going to say to my mum. And then I waited until we were taking my sister to brownies. We were in the car, and then I was like, mum. She's like, yeah. I was like, I think I've started my period. And she went, whoa, shall we go out for dinner to celebrate? And I was like, no. I so wish I took her up on that offer. But I just thought it's embarrassing. We're going out for dinner to celebrate me getting my period. I didn't take her up on that offer and I just regret it because I could have got free food. Anyway, that's my first period story. Hey, the next question. I'm, re I'm sitting in the weirdest positions. Um, I hope you appreciate that. Do you believe in alternate universes? And I have thought about this so many times. I have, um, if you didn't know me, a lot of people who know me don't know this, I have a note section on my phone um, where I've written down random thoughts that I've thought myself and then I've also got stuff that I've seen on like Pinterest or Instagram that have I've been like, oh my god, mind blown. Um, so I have written a lot about alternate universes because you know that's how my mind thinks. And wait, let me see if I can find one because some of them are like really interesting. Well, this is kind of to do with alternate universes. I, put, I wonder if the world and the atmosphere or space is like a huge bubble in like or bauble enclosed in like a plastic case and then there's another like species or whatever watching over us so that's kind of similar so it's like our universe is actually enclosed in a huge bubble and then there are other universes outside of the bubble who are like watching over us so that's one <laughs> is kind of to do with our universes so our whole universe and world has been created by another universe and we're like a test subject and they're watching over us seeing us basically fail and destroy our world while they're out living their best lives in their other universe and we were like a test subject so that's kind of i i believe in alternate universes purely because i think it would be so cool to have an alter, alternate universe so i feel like if there was alternate universes it would be so cool. I also really, really want there to be parallel universes so there's like another me somewhere. I think that would just be so cool. I don't get people who wouldn't think that's cool. Like, that's so cool, having alternate universes. Anyway, um, so I don't really know if I believe in them but I would like them to be there. Okay, the next question is, what is on your bucket list? I've gone out of focus. Okay, I don't actually have like a, a written bucket list. But if I was to put one together, I would do like I would definitely have a lot of travel on it so I have been out of Europe for the first time uh, last year which was amazing I went to Thailand and it was it was just so good and so another thing on my bucket list the first thing on my bucket list would be to see more of the world that's not Europe like I know all of Europe is different but I feel like all the different cultures in like Asia is so interesting and i just love like i loved thailand so much so i'd really like to see more of like asia east asia i want to go to i just want to travel so that's the main thing on my bucket list is to travel another th main thing 
I don't really know if you can consider it a bucket list, but it's one. It's the main thing I want to do in life, and that's have a family. Um, I obviously would like to have children. If I can't have children, adoption would be something I would go through because I want kids in my life. Um, so I feel like that counts as a bucket list thing. I kind of want to do a skydive. I would be so scared, but I just think it would be such an amazing thing to do. So I kind of would like to do a skydive. May may. Um, I don't really know what's on my bucket list, but there are some things that I would really like to do because I just think that would be so cool. <sighs> Where are your favourite places to shop? At the moment, literally all of my clothes are from like Boohoo. I've ordered a lot from there recently. I go through phases where I can't find anything from there and then I can find really good things. And recently I've been able to find some really good stuff. So Boohoo at the moment is probably my favourite place to shop. But in general, um, I, well I always get my jeans from Topshop. So I feel like I have to say that's a favourite because like they fit so well. Um, I probably like New Look and Primark. Yes, I shop in Primark. It's amazing. You can get like a hundred things for like 200 pounds. No, but Primark is really good and the sizing, their tops, like their crop tops, they fit me so well. So Primark in the summer, I would say. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was really short and really chill, but it's an extra video for you guys. Anyway, I will see you all soon and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!